see you there. Hi, I'm Alessandra and this is Out of Frame, the show where I give you the close-up on your favorite media professional. This episode we're covering... Uh... Uh... I forget who we're covering this week. Buff? Do you remember? Sounds like you're suffering from a severe sudden case of... Amnesia. <gasps> oh man! I better go back to the office and check on the script! Who are you? I'm your long lost evil twin who has cancer! <gasps> Wait, did you just age in the moment it took me to dramatically gasp? Guess so! I must be suffering from soap opera rapid aging syndrome! <gasps> and now they've replaced the actor playing my evil twin with no explanation at all? This is really straining my suspension of disbelief. <laughs> also, Buff has secretly been our father all along. <gasps> what? I can't believe it. Oh. <clears throat> Buff, did you switch my soap with soap opera soap again? No. You better run as fast as those disembodied legs can carry you. <sighs> And now, stay tuned for our close-up on soap opera writing legend, Agnes Nixon. Hi, I'm Alessandra, and welcome to this week's episode of Out of Frame. Today's close-up is on Agnes Nixon. Agnes Nixon has won five Daytime Emmy Awards for writing. She created two of the most popular U.S. soap operas and has written for most of the others at one point or another. She even won a Lifetime Achievement Award for her work. Why? Actually, Alessandra, I'm so glad you asked. To really delve into this topic, we Actually, must- Actually, Buff, I think it's my job to explain. See, before Nixon's involvement, soap operas were popular, but very removed from real life. Nixon altered them so they had more basis in the culture of the 60s. She imbued her stories with social and political issues, like AIDS, drug addiction, racism, and pap smears. The shows that she created frequently broke television boundaries, including one of the first interracial romances and the first legal abortion. But it isn't just the social relevance that makes her stories popular, it's the characters that she populates them with. For example, her most famous character is antagonist Erica Kane from All My Children. Erica is self-centered and powerful and does morally questionable things. But she's written in such a way that the audience understands exactly why she does the things that she does. Her father left when Erica was a child, which has led to major abandonment issues. Maybe Nixon's characters are so compelling because she draws inspiration from the world around her. Like Erica, Aggie Nixon had a lonely childhood and a complicated relationship with her divorced parents. She grew up with almost no contact with her dad and struggled to reconnect with him later in life. Nixon's father, Harry, disapproved of her writing and wanted her to join him at his business, manufacturing burial clothing. But her biggest detractor gave Aggie her biggest career break. Wanting to discourage his daughter, Harry arranged for her to have an interview with a real industry writer who would give her a harsh taste of reality. However, Erna Phillips, a pioneer in the soap opera world, loved her writing and hired Aggie right on the spot. Erna's mentorship is why after more than 60 years, Agnes Nixon is still involved in soap operas. Although soap operas are no longer the cultural force they once were, they are definitely not dead. Just like soap operas made the jump from radio to television, All My Children and One Life to Live have leaped from TV to the web. With new episodes released semi-weekly on Hulu and iTunes, the series have continued to find a passionate audience. And of course, Aggie Nixon works as a creative consultant on both shows, continuing to add her guidance to the addicting, character-driven dramas. And it's end screen time. In the description section below this video, you'll find links to take you to our Facebook and Twitter pages. Or maybe it'll take you to your evil twin's best friend's step ants gardener's grunge band's MySpace page. You'll have to click to find out. You've stuck around until the end of the episode, which means you get a trivia question. Agnes has frequently appeared on her two biggest soap opera creations for show milestones and memorial episodes. How many times has she appeared as a character on One Life to Live and All My Children combined? 
Congratulations to everyone who got the answer to last week's trivia question. Leave your answer to this week's question in the comments below, and you too could be listed here as a media buff. Next Friday, I'm taking an out of frame look at another writer, known for her socially aware writing, whose work has also migrated to the web. The queen of the nerds, Jane Espenson. Bye guys!